All eyes will shift to Nairobi's Moi International Sports Center Kasarani next weekend when Kenya hosts the third edition of the Kipkeino Classic. This is Africa's only World Athletics Continental Tour Gold Label event where a host of top international athletes will be on show. Many will be hoping to lay a marker ahead of the Summer World Championships in Eugene, Oregon this August. CGTN spoke to Athletics Kenya Nairobi Chairman Barnaba Korir on what the 2022 Kip Kano Classic has to offer. Uh, the last two events uh, or editions, uh, we were not able to uh, accept the spectators in the stadium. And uh, we had only the top athletes that the competed team and the officials. Uh, this time round, uh, because of the COVID-19 has come down, we expect a, a huge turnout of uh, spectators from Nairobi and other environs. And Kasarani Stadium has a capacity of 60,000. Our idea is to make sure that we fill that stadium so that uh, people now, Kenyans, could come and watch the top athletes uh, competing. We have also uh, improved the equipment that uh, the, we'll be using, the electronic timing machine. We have also, of course, the support from uh, host broadcasters, which meets um, the, the, the requirement by World Athletics so that, so that the event can continue. So at the moment, we have also invited uh, some technical officials from outside the country that will assist us in manning some of those equipment, which uh, uh, we might not be able to um, handled it uh, technically. This year, we are actually going to have even a better field in 100 meters men. Those who will be competing with uh, Fernando Manyala, uh, we have um, Kenneth Benatek, he's a 100 meter runner, he was for medals in the Olympics, and we have also um, uh, Kenneth, um, no, Fred Kelly. Fred Kelly is also an American sprinter, who has done also so well during the Olympics. And those are the top athletes that will be competing with uh, Fernando Manyala in the 100 meters. The 100 meters women, uh, we have um, um, Shelly Fraser. Uh, she's an Olympic champion. And we have also Christine Boma from Namibia. She's a silver medalist from the, from the Olympics. Those are the two at least who are going head to head, and we're expecting others also who have already confirmed participation to contest for the top honors, especially in those two major events. You realize that most of the major events that our athletes have been participating uh, in either in Europe or in America or Asia. Um, for us to, to give an opportunity to upcoming athletes is to organize also international events in this country that we invite top athletes from other parts of the world to come to Kenya. In doing so, we give them opportunity to learn our culture, how we train, because some of them they train mostly in Kenya. And th those uh, uh, tourists that will come uh, to watch this event, they have an opportunity to visit our places of uh, interest like um, the museums, they go to Masai Mara and other areas where uh, there are a lot of interest. So this is very important for us, not only as uh, athletics uh, nation, but it opens up uh, this country to the world 